Hi guys, this time I am doing the 100 questions nobody asks tag. I, you guys didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway. And I really want to do Q&As this year, so I thought this would be a good jumping off point. Until you guys start asking me questions, I will just find random questions already on the internet. I don't know who originally came up with this tag, so I can't give credit, but I will post the questions in the description down below if you want to do them yourselves. Um, or if you couldn't understand me, read a question. <laughs> which is possible. Yeah, so these are completely random and absurd, and I just can't wait to get into these. Uh, I think that's all the intro this video needs. <clears throat> Question one, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? I sleep with them open because I am far too lazy to constantly be opening and closing my closet doors. So if I don't have to, they just stay open all the time. Um, I'm not afraid of the dark and I have a cat, so honestly, I know there's a monster in my closet. His name is Offsides. Do you take the shampoo and conditioner bottles from a hotel? No, I don't even use them when I'm in the hotel, so I'm not going to take them with me. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? I do not tuck them in. I mean, the fitted sheet is obviously tucked in around the mattress, but like the other sheets are not. Have you ever stolen a street sign before? I have not. However, when my grandma died and we were cleaning out her house, we found a couple street signs in her basement and one of them was a slow children at play sign. And we do not know how that got there. Nobody fessed up to it, but it was interesting. <laughs> do you like to use post-it notes? Obviously, who doesn't? They are sticky and brightly colored and just really fun. Do you cut out coupons but never use them? Yes, I do quite frequently. I'm always forgetting I have them, or I go shopping and I don't have them with me, or I end up buying something else completely. So, yeah. Sometimes I think they are more trouble than they are worth. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I would like to be attacked by one thing, even if it's ginormous and fierce, than a bunch of tiny little things. It would be easier to Defend myself from one thing, then. A swarm. Do you have freckles? I have some, not a whole lot, and I don't think any of them are going to show up on camera. I have one, like, right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I have only a few just, like, speckled across my arm and stuff. Um, I do not have a ton of them now. Do you always smile for pictures? I try to if I know somebody is taking a picture, but not always. Um, and I like to take candid photos myself, so if somebody is trying to like take a candid photo, I will try not to smile really, really hard. Doesn't always work. <clears throat> what is your biggest pet peeve? People who don't wash their hands after they go to the bathroom, and connected to that is people who try to convince me that Purell is the same as washing your hands with soap and water. It is not, people. It may kill the germs, but all that dirt is still on your hand, and it's gross. Go get some soap and water. And also, when they film, when you're, like, watching a television show or something, and they have a scene there, they're talking in the bathroom, if they don't wash their hands, and if they don't use soap while they're washing their hands, it really freaks me out. Like, I know it's filmed, and it's probably not a real bathroom that has ever been used for actual bathroom related things but it still freaks me out like guys seriously wash your hands proper hygiene and do not shake my hand if you haven't that is disgusting and gross do you ever count your steps when you walk yes i do have you ever peed in the woods not that i remember this is something i may have done as a child but i don't recall like i don't camp and stuff so i have no reason to and the next question is, have you ever pooped in the woods? And the answer is definitely not. Do you ever dance when there's no music playing? All the freaking time. Do you chew on your pens and pencils? Yes. Um, usually it's the eraser on the pencil or the pen cap, especially if it's like a thick pen. And I try not to do this, but it seems to happen anyway. Like it's just second nature. Like I get distracted and start thinking about other things and it's just something I naturally do. And I don't know why, but. Yes. How many people have you slept with this week? Myself and my cat, which is technically not a people. 
So there's your answer. What size is your bed? I have a twin size bed because it's just me and the cat and having a smaller bed means more room for everything else in my room. What is your song of the week? I don't have one right now. I guess Stronger by Man Diesel? I'm gonna go with that one, but I get like songs stuck in my head and I don't know if they're really per week thing. I don't really listen to the radio a whole lot, so it's usually not newer songs. It's whatever I found on YouTube and decided I liked enough to get on iTunes or if I get a CD out of the library. <sighs> I spend all my money on books, not music. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? Absolutely. You guys go right ahead and do that. Because I wear plenty of blue. Do you still watch cartoons? All the freaking time. I love them. I mean, there's stuff like Futurama and Family Guy. But I also really like Rugrats and watching like Goof Troop still. Yeah. I have no qualms about watching cartoons. Plus anime is a cartoon technically and that's pretty awesome too. What's your least favorite movie? Uh, I think Bruno. So was it Sasha Baron Cohen did like Borat and stuff and that movie was awesome. So I went to watch Bruno and that was just way too crude for me. Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? If I were going to bury it in the backyard? But I probably would not bury treasure. I would hide it somewhere where I'm not going to tell you because then you would know where to find it. What do you drink with dinner? Usually water. I like iced tea and lemonade and like soda or beers when I'm out. But at home, I usually just drink water with dinner. What do you dip a chicken nugget in? Barbecue sauce? Or sometimes spaghetti sauce or ranch dressing. But seriously, usually it's barbecue sauce. It's only when I'm like out of barbecue sauce. Or if I'm eating spaghetti with chicken nuggets, then I will dip chicken nuggets in spaghetti sauce. Yeah, that's the thing I do. What's your favorite food? Chocolate. And particularly brownies, especially if they're more fudge-like brownies. I love chocolate. Total chocolate. What movies would you watch over and over and still love? I obsessively rewatch movies, so any movie I liked. Um, but I know that The Decoy Bride is definitely a movie where I have gotten to the end of that movie and then really wanted to just press restart it and just watch the whole thing all over again. So, yeah. The last person you kissed or who kissed you? I don't kiss and tell guys, so. Hmm. Were you ever a boy slash girl scout? I was for about two months when I was in elementary school. But our troop didn't do anything, like weren't working towards badges or anything, so I lost interest very quickly. Would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? No. Not happening. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? I don't know, but I do this kind of frequently. So I probably was saying last year. Can you change the oil on a car? No, I can't, but I don't drive and I have a brother who is a total car nerd, so probably not a life skill I need. At least not right now. Have you ever gotten a ticket? No. Ever ran out of gas? Nope. Favorite kind of sandwich? I really like chicken bacon ranch sandwiches. They are delicious, especially with grilled chicken when it's like still warm and juicy. Yeah. Best thing to eat for breakfast. Cold pizza is freaking amazing for breakfast. Yeah, I love watching breakfast. What's your usual bedtime? Probably 11 o'clock or midnight, but really anywhere between 9 p.m. to like 3 a.m. is game, depending on what I've been doing that day and what time I got up. Are you lazy? I can be incredibly lazy about some things and then really, really particular to the point that I would consider not being lazy on other things. So, yes and no. When you were a kid, what did you dress up as for Halloween? Usually a witch. My family has three of my ancestors that were accused of witchcraft a total of five times in New Haven, Connecticut during like the whole witch hunt trial thingies going on. And I'm super proud of that because 
they were proved innocent every single time. So yeah. Also, I just really have a thing for witchcraft and like spells, magic sounds just amazing and awesome. What's your Chinese astrological sign? I was born in the year of the rat. How many languages can you speak? Fluently English. I can sort of speak French. I took three years of it in high school and remember a fair bit of it. And then I know really, really basic sign language, Italian, German, Spanish, and then Czech and Slovak. Like really, really just basic. Like, hey, how are you? Where's the bathroom type stuff? Which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Oh man, Legos, definitely. They are amazing. Especially love Legos. Are you stubborn? Yes. Who is better, Leno or Letterman? Leno. Ever watch soap operas? When I was in high school, there was one summer when I watched soap operas every day with my mom. I think All My Children was my favorite, but this was like during the 90s. And now... I don't watch soap operas anymore. That was just way too time consuming. Are you afraid of heights? Yes, I am. Do you sing in the car? Yep. Do you sing in the shower? Sometimes, but not frequently. Do you dance in the car? Heck yeah. Ever used a gun? Not a real one. No. Airsoft guns, super soakers definitely, but not a real one. The last time you got your portrait taken by a photographer? So every five years, our church does this photo directory, and they hire, like, a professional photographer to come in and take everybody's pictures, like, in families and stuff. So I think that was three years ago. But that is definitely not a normal part of my life. Do you think musicals are cheesy? Absolutely not. My life contains an absurd amount of singing and dancing. So it's actually weird when I watch movies that nobody is singing or dancing. Like, what is wrong with you people? Plus the musical, like the numbers and musicals are so much fun to sing out loud. Very theatrical. Is Christmas stressful? Yes, it is. I frequently get sick around Christmas just because of stress levels. So I was super excited that we had a low-key Christmas this year. All Christmases should be low-key. Um, ever eat a pierogi? <laughs> yes, I have. I live in Cleveland and we have really good pierogies around here. Yeah. Fried pierogies, especially with onions in them. Like, you fry the onions with the pierogi, and it's amazing. Favorite type of fruit pie? Apple. Occupation you wanted to be when you were a kid? Um, a teacher, a vet, an actress, and then a bunch of other things like the president and a zookeeper and just pretty much anything I saw at some point I wanted to be. Teacher is probably the one that I most thought I was going to do. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes and no. I think it's better to believe in something and then find out it's not real than to not believe in it and then have it come try to kill you. So, yes, I think I do believe in ghosts. <laughs> Please don't kill me, ghosts. Um. Have you ever had deja vu? Yes, I have. Take a daily vitamin. No. Wear slippers. I don't, but I have like indoor shoes. So like I have ballet flats that are specific for wearing inside and they don't, I don't wear them outside so they don't track dirt in the house. But slippers just don't have enough structure to them and it feels weird to like wear them. Yeah. Do you wear a bathrobe? No. What do you wear to bed? Pajamas. First concert. It was very Manilow, but in my defense, I was in second grade and my mom took me because she was a huge Barry Manilow fan, so yeah. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Normally I shop at Target, sometimes Walmart, but we do not really have Kmarts around here, so. I don't have a problem with shopping at any of those things, though. Nike or Adidas? I think Nike, but I don't really spend that much on shoes or clothes. Well, it's athletic clothes, period. So, I don't really care. Cheetos or Fritos? They are both delicious. I had Fritos last, so I guess that's the one. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? 
I like peanuts. They are delicious. Ever hear of the group Trebian? In this question? No. <laughs> Ever take dance lessons? Not really. So like part of gym class when I was in middle school was learning how to do some dances and stuff. So I know some dances, but I've never actually like gone to professional dance classes or anything. Is there a profession you picture your future spouse doing? Not really. I tend to have a lot of crushes on actors, especially British actors. So I think I imagine being married to an actor more than any other profession, but I really wouldn't care as long as they were happy and we weren't living in destitute poverty. Can you curl your tongue? That was a yes. <laughs> Ever won a spelling bee? <laughs> no, I can't spell at all. Have you ever cried because you were so happy? No, I don't think so. I've definitely laughed so hard that I cried. But I don't think because I've been so happy. I've cried big in movies when they have a happy ending, so I guess maybe that counts. But I can't think of anything in my real life that made me so happy that I cried. Yeah. I can cry when I'm in response to books and movies like nobody's business, but in my real life for some reason if it's something actually happening to me, I don't cry very often. <sighs> I'm strange. Do you own any record albums? I own a lot of record albums. Most of them were bought at half price books for like $3 each, but I own some. And do you own a record player? Yes. Otherwise, there'd be no point in owning those records. <laughs> Regularly burn incense. Incense. I don't like the way it smells, but I do use scented candles sometimes, not a whole lot. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Who would you like to see in concert? I love Reliant K. They're my favorite band, and I have been lucky enough to see them in concert twice, and I would love to go see them as often as possible. <laughs> yeah. Hot tea or cold tea? I love tea. And I will drink nothing but tea if I were allowed to. If it were feasible, I would drink nothing but tea. So usually in the winter, I drink hot tea. And then in the summer, I drink iced tea. But it doesn't really matter. Tea or coffee? I really love tea. And I think coffee is really, really bitter. I have to add so much stuff to coffee at that point. I don't see what's the point of drinking coffee. Sugar or snickerdoodles? I love snickerdoodles. Cinnamon and sugar is amazing together. Can you swim well? No. I can barely swim at all. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? No. Are you patient? About some things, but not about other things. That's another one of those questions where it depends what's happening, whether or not I'm going to be patient. DJ or band at a wedding? I don't really care, I guess, a DJ. Ever won a contest? No. I won the like good read giveaways for books. Does that count? Ever have plastic surgery? No. Which are better, black or green olives? I hate olives, so neither. Can you knit or crochet? I can do one stitch in each. The best room for a fireplace? I think either a living room or a library, but um, even when we've lived in houses with fireplaces, my family have never used them, so they're just decorative, in my opinion. I mean, if I have somebody who really wants to start a fire and take care of it and maintain it, I am totally for it, but it's not something I feel strongly about. But mantles do look pretty. Do you want to get married? Yes, I'm kind of picky though. Like, I like being alone and on my own and independence and all that. So, it would be awesome to find somebody that I like enough to spend the rest of my life with. Um, so, yeah, I do want to get married, but I'm not going to rush out and just marry the first person just to be married. If you've been married, how long have you been married? Well, I haven't been, so. Hmm. Who is your high school crush? Okay, I'm kind of boy crazy, so like anybody who was male, probably shouldn't say that. But I had a lot of crushes in high school, and I'm not going to mention them. 
do you cry and throw a fit until you get the way you want? Get, get your own way. Do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? No, I do not. When I was like a kid, maybe. Not so much now. Do you have kids? I have a cat and he's my baby, but I don't have any human children, particularly like biological offspring. No. Do you want kids? Kind of and kind of not. Depends. Get through these periods where I'm like, oh, I want kids. And then particularly if I see a kid misbehaving or causing problems, it'll be like, I'm so glad I don't have kids. So yes, yes and no. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite color? I like blues and greens. And most shades of those are fine. Like olive green is gross or puke green is definitely not it. I definitely like more blue-green colors, like turquoise and teal, but really anything in the blue-green spectrum. I like cool colors. Do you miss anyone right now? Mm, I have a couple sisters who live out of state, so I guess I miss my sisters. Don't know. Pretty introverted and love having alone time, so... <laughs> I'm digging digging this filming on my own right now. Yes, no, maybe. And then there is no question 100. So I have a question which is, what happened to this other question? Can you guys not count? Did it get cut off? Was it too scandalous that nobody answered it? Like, I, I don't know. I kind of am curious as to what this other question is. So there you guys go. There are the 100 questions that nobody asks. Feel free to answer any of them, either in the comments below, or you can do your own video or blog response to this. I don't know who started it, so I can't give credit to them. And let me know also if you have any questions you want me to answer. I would love to do a Q&A, so feel free to give me some, either commenting on this video or you can send me a message on any of the websites, any of my social media. You could tweet at me whatever you want to do, feel free to do it. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> I just stop and think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was slightly different than what I normally do. So I had fun. Peace out. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.